Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome to Dawn of Man, where using stone tools is the greatest invention since sliced bread, which isn't a thing because we don't know what bread is, or slices, or inventions. But anyway, it is a city builder game from the people who brought you Planet Base, as you can see. I have access to just two right now, obviously Ancient Warriors looks pretty interesting, that's actual combat, but for now... We're going to pick one of our five separate places and build the city of Kunor. Join me. As you can see, it's a development build graciously given to me by the developer. I have played the tutorial. But yes, given to me by the developer, I have played the tutorial. Just thought I'd quickly pause. Just to make sure I know what I'm doing. But as you can see, it's a little Stone Age settlement. We have kids, old people, male, female. So you get people as time goes by. But to get resources, you can, you know, directly click on them. Like, this is stone. I can gather the stone. This is uh, fish. I can gather the fish. Or I can give work areas. Like, this is a gather stick order, which you'll be needing at the beginning to build stuff. As you can see, I put this here. If it was a sign to that. We'll gather sticks. Two people will gather up to ten sticks. So instead of having to click each and every individual section like that, I can now have two people work on that entire area. Same with fishing, like this, I'd rather have someone work here as opposed to over there. I'd also like to go and gather some flint. Which, let's see, there's some over here. Hmm, there isn't that much really, is there? There's a bit over there. Okay, let's have these, let's have flint over here. So you need basic resources to build, as you can see, I don't have access to too much. As you can see, there's different levels of things. Depending on where I am in the world, like this obviously requires the research of thatching. As you can see, I need knowledge for that. There's a fair bit of knowledge up to the Iron Age. We're currently Paleolithic. We are lucky to know what bones are. Yes, we don't even know how to use bones right now. The bird. Can I use it? Yeah, so right now, we're pretty basic. We have two huts, a half to cook bread, if you ever figure that out, then we can slice it, a wood pile to store wood, and a crafter. Now, first of all, obviously, I want to make some extra tools. So these are made out of flint. And use of a butcher, harvesting and fighting. This is basic level one stuff. Hunting and fighting with wooden spears, I use a stick. And obviously, there's the harpoons for fighting and fishing. They're all basic low level stuff. Obviously, we can also turn skins into clothing, which we will be needing to survive winter. So there is a seasonal part to the game. Like, obviously, during the season, stuff like berries and things will wither and die because it's winter. So you need to make sure you have a good supply of resources. Extract mud. Okay, let's... No, not fish. Well, yeah. Let's grab some of this. So we need access to all of these things. Which should hopefully be berries. I would like a limited amount of berries to be grabbed. So, we only have seven people. My capacity right now is six. Which means I need to get some more houses. So, first of all, let's do it. Okay, Z and... C to rotate. Houses are a bit expensive actually, they require four sticks and two leather. Or two hides. Hides are quite hard to get the vape gigs, so you have to hunt down things. Like that's an owl rock, gonna go hunt it. And how hunting works is you tell people to hunt it, so you put hunting space down, and the game assigns the white amount of people to go and hunt it down. They go grab spears and they go chase it. But obviously the tough it is, like lions and bears, the more people are sent after it. There's also a chance it will run away or attack. Like right now, there's no one available to attack it. So as you can see, no one's picked up a spear. People are just busy. There's some crafting going on over here. It's fine. Okay, over here, obviously, we have the tent being built. Arrow attack. So the arrow being attacked. As you can see, it was brought down by three people. That's how difficult it was. So it's going to give me four hides, five meat, and two bones. Now, the way you get knowledge in this game is by doing basic things like this. First animal hunt it, one knowledge. Gather ten resources, one knowledge. Build some important buildings, some knowledge. So you get knowledge by interacting with the world. So you don't research anything, you just interact with the world and you slowly gather it over time. So like ten fish, ten berries, stuff like that. So you can't do metallurgy, you can't be really defensive. So I don't think combat is in the game it is exceedingly early access right now there's a release date of 2019 as of this video 
I'll have to have a quick check. I'm not sure it's going to be straight into early access or it's going to be a full release. Because like I say, combat isn't fully in yet. That's why the warrior thing exists. And it is currently unavailable. God, it's very hilly, this map. So, storage is full, eh? Okay, so what I need to do right now is get research going. So we need to build some more things. Let's storage tent. Put a storage tent over here. So that requires a lot of stuff as well. So you can speed things up to like eight times. We need some more hide. We don't really have the hide right now. To get the hide, I'm going to have to get... Where is it? Tanning. Did I get like a dog domestication? That'd be cool. But as you can see, we need to obviously get these things running. So you acquired 10 sticks, extra one, knowledge. Just interacting with the world, just like you would do. Human status. Humans of health. When their status is low, a warning sign will appear with that person. That's fine. Is someone warning me? No storage slots left. Yes, I get it. I'm building. Okay, let's um, get two more of those. Let's get three of those. Let's keep building things. Keep building. Slowly expand the place. Obviously, I need a lot more resources and stuff like that. Ten flint. Another one. Knowledge. Perfect. More sticks are being brought in. Because we only have so many people, so nothing's prioritised. So doing whatever they think is the most necessary at this point in time. So that could be fishing, that could be anything. So as you can see, they're kind of doing what they need to. They're tired. There they go. They're making stuff. So yeah, we're just seeing what's going on. I've got it fast, obviously, so you can see what's happening. More people will join us as we slowly get more prestigious by building nice things. Obviously having space for them. Yes, I get it. I need to build a storage hut. I should have put that first, but I'm a Muppet. There we go. See, they're burning to keep fuel going. You're tired. You're very tired. So right now, of course, I need to get some more knowledge because I need... Eight spears. Oof. Okay. Let's get two people to work there. Berries are being done. We've got plenty of sticks being grabbed. That's fine. Hello. Let's grab some flint. Okay, so let's hunt down something else. Oh, that's a bear. <coughs> now give us some good resources. We'll be a tough one to kill. Let's go for the donkey. Let's send out a kill team for the donkey. Milestone unlocked. Hunting and gathering knowledge. Plus two. There you go. I now know the basics. Thank you. <clears throat> so now I can unlock tanning. So now I can tan. So tanning is automatic. <coughs> Once you get a tanning thing down, they put hides on it, they slowly t um, dry over time. Well, donkeys escaped. God damn it. They had one job. There we go. So once this is built, I'll put the hides to uh, dry on it. And maybe I'll get this actual storage tent built. And then the house. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, they're going to go hunt the Arok for me. So there you go. They'll hang tides, hides on it. Oh, Arok's attacked. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, it's fighting back. Oh, it is fighting back. Look at that. Uh-oh. Okay, it's badly injured. It's really injured. It's dead. Good. Four hide, six w meat. So, I can also dry meat eventually. Let's see, do I have access to that yet? Tanner. Place to make leather from skins. So you can um, dry things eventually, like with one of the options. And obviously you need that to dry meat and fish. They last longer. Obviously right now they're just regular food. And they're going to, of course, uh -oh, dry out and be useless a lot quicker than they should be. Ten meat takes one knowledge. See? Just work with the world. So we now have 
Hides being tanned, that's good. Oh. Let's go into the house. Get over here. So I'm trying to build what looked like a good house, city and village. We're also obviously trying to make it... Oof, that's a bit basic, isn't it? We're also trying to make it what you'd expect. So I can't cut down trees right now. So I need composite tools. You can't cut down a tree with a wooden axe. I mean, you, technically you can, it'll just take forever. It isn't Minecraft, you can't just punch a tree to death. Again, you can, it would take us a long time, an awful long time, my god. So see, you don't really need stone, you just need wood and hides. What I like about this game is, the buildings are actually made out of wooden hides. Like, obviously there's a few stones around the bottom of it, but it's mostly wooden hides. Stuff you'd make out the actual things which are being built into it, as opposed to other games where, even though it's a wooden house, you need an extra 16 stone for some ungodly reason. Okay, we're going to prioritise this. I kind of want this to actually be built. Oh, 10 berries, extra one knowledge. There we go. See, we're learning about the world and things are getting better. Once that is done, of course, we'll start storing things. There we go. Look at that. Another building. Also, I do like the fact that the buildings actually have multiple stages. You don't see it slowly get built, as it were, because there's no slow growth to it. It literally is piece, 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 as opposed to things slowly pouring out the ground or stuff. First structure, storage tent, next one knowledge, there you go. And you've got another level going on. So now the storage tent, they're going to store some food in there. Conditions going down. So there is a condition to the game. Another hut's going up. We need a log for that, we can't build that yet. Shame, but there you are. Oh, X1 knowledge. We now have five knowledge. So composite tools, we require bone knowledge. Spirituality, fish drawing. Let's go fish drawing. We're living off a lot of fish right now. Door went off, and now I'm immediately distracted with what I was saying. But, oh yes. So we've leveled up, we now have fish drying. I was looking for fish drying. Where the hell was that? Production. Food dryer. So see this? It will dry all food on it. So we're going to have these actually by the bank. Why not? Ten sticks. So obviously we're using a lot of sticks. Because there's no sticks in its production. I'm not using logs to make it. Even though you could cut the logs down. But look at this. It's just large branches and things. There's no obvious cuts of wood in there. Unless you've broken it down and tied it together. What that mount now means is... Food will be hung on it, as you can see there, and it will slowly begin to dry. As you can see, it's showing here, 3% cured meat, 7%. So things are now, berries have decayed, so we're losing resources. See that? Two berries have decayed, because they were just stored randomly. Obviously, the storage tent can make it last longer. Drying the food makes it last even longer, so drying the food is a massively important one. As you can see, things are getting cured. And the dry food will be moved over to there. We have tanning racks. So yeah, we're doing okay. The world is our oyster. Oh, horses. Maybe we should go for that bear. We have plenty of spaces for people, so if anyone wants to join us, they can. There are also traders. Who come from other camps, I'm assuming. In my test, one turned up randomly and tried to sell me a load of crap. It's all done in reputations, so like... Say a wooden spear is 10 reputation. So you want to trade them for a wooden spear. You need to give them two wooden spears. Because obviously they're upping the reputation. Because they're just greedy buggers. So you want something 100. You have to pay 140 rep. So you can get resources. As long as you have excess resources of something else. But obviously yeah. Getting a trader in is obviously not the best way to do things. But it is good if you have say 15 spears and no food. Let's take out that owl rock. There we go, one hunter, two hunters, oh, three hunters. God. When I was fighting a cave bear, by the way, it threw one of my people into the river. I played on the same map, that's why I'm on this map, because I know roughly where things are. Raw skin times ten, extra one knowledge. There we go, we're learning. Yes. Yes, this is, about, this is all the game is right now, leather outfit. Like, okay. 
So that's not warm. But it looks like it's powerful though. So as you can see, people carry a lot of things. They all have slots. The different levels of slots depending on their age and so on. So you do kind of want people to be able to have equipment and also carry things. So you kind of have to balance it. Okay, we're doing well. We have people. We have equipment. All bare. Okay, take it out. One fighter. Oh, there we go, two. Uh-oh. Oh, it's old. They're doing lots of damage. Oh! Okay, it's not pushed anyone. Serious damage, though. It's down! Not much on it, it's an old bear. But look, I actually like how the game looks. It's obviously not going to be the best graphics, but it works what it is. You're never quite unsure what things are. Never unsure at all what things are. And just clicking on things, obviously it gives you a full image like that. Here, it's just a top off. Clicking on it, I can see the whole thing. I like that. But well, there's another bloody bear. Okay, it's, it's idle development build currently, that's good. So I'm going to skin it. Someone skin the bear. We spilled blood on that thing. Thank you. We have skins, we have equipment, we're going to keep on building out. Obviously I want to get more things up and running. There we go. Put down another hut. Uh, production. Food dryer, skin dryer. Let's get another skin, let's get another food dryer. There. There we go. But yeah, I see a huge amount of potential in this game. Traders arrive. Look, there's a trader. You just teleport in. As you can see, if I ask for bone tools, it's 150 value, even though it's only 100. So for me to get that, I have to sell all of my stored gear. I mean, like, literally all of my gear. And I still won't be able to afford it, so yeah, you can get things. Like getting bone tools would be very good, because I wouldn't have to obviously learn it via this way. But I just don't have the resources for it right now. But yeah, apparently making outfits is the best way to make money. You sure they're like 10 each, and one piece of leather or skin can make two of them. Obviously I can't quite tan it into actual leather yet, because I don't have wood. Next one, knowledge. Are you both traders? You're iron. You're iron. Oh, maybe they, maybe they did both come together. Okay, extra one knowledge from cutting cured meat. Five ten. Do you see, we're getting there. Okay, the forest is out. The forest, the fire's out. Bring more wood. Oh, they both left. They do just wander in. Look at that. Oh, there's that bloody. Bison I was trying to hunt down, I think. No, it was a donkey I was hunting down. Why are you injured? So animals do attack each other. I have physically eaten a bear because it was attacked because Arox defended against it. They just disappear. Where's the end of the world? Oh, this map's huge. This can't be the map. It just keeps going. Look at the size of this. First animal hunted ancient bison knowledge. Ooh. This, this this is huge. Okay, so the map is far bigger than I thought. Look at the size of this thing. It goes as far as the mountains in the distance. Three new humans. Three knowledge for gaining population ten. Okay, that's good. Bad timing that it's now really wintry. That's good. So let's grab bone tools while we're at it. Okay, start making me bone spears and bone harpoons. Three new people. So as you can see, this starts getting pretty interesting. Let's have three people on stick duty. There we go. So we have new equipment being built. As you can see, there's multiple people working on it. It's not just one person at a time. We have plenty of resources, this tent has plenty of skins, skin outfits, bone harpoons, perfect. 
as you can see the quality is downgrading so everything in the ancient world rules slowly turn to nothing take out the Auroch capture requires tech cattle domestication Ooh. take out an ibex too while we're at it so you cooked on the hearth? I saw that okay so let's Build another half, which should be production. There. Oh, just gained an ibex. First knowledge too. So now we can grab dog domestication. Why not? Required for dog. How do I get dogs? Is that a thing I can build? Can I build dog? I cannot apparently build dog. Who knew? There's a lot of potential to this game. Ten bones, perfect. So I've made a load of bone equipment. We do need to get to the next level so I can build composites. Let's hunt down this horse that's injured. Why are you injured? We don't yet know. Nine fishing tools. By face. We're just using stones as knives right now. Steel knives. So you do actually traverse a huge amount of history if you're going from the Stone Age, like the Paleolithic, to the bloody Iron Age. Okay, survived the knowledge. Because, I mean, Egypt was using copper for like a thousand years at the very least. When they found iron, it was amazing, because obviously copper is such a soft metal, you don't need to melt it. You don't need to smelt it at all. You used to just, you know, slowly batter it into shape. Obviously there was smelting it at some points, but yeah, it's mostly because copper is such an easy-to-mine resource, you just sort of beat it into shape of weaponry and things, and armour. First animal hunted wild horse, knowledge plus one, so we're getting knowledge. The temperature is 2 degrees, 3. Okay, that's fine. It's currently spring. Our people seem okay. Half requires two stones. We don't have anyone collecting stones. Let's just have that automatically being gathered. Okay, more skins are being cured. Perfect. We still don't have the ability to make anything out of actual planks yet, but there you are. Ten fish. Wait, really? I just got ten more fish? Wow. That's those two, so I'd like to have these two over here. Two. So we have plenty of space now for obviously lots of hanging resources. We have plenty of food. It's a dog. I can slaughter it. Where do you come Storm? Where do you come from? Is he part of our team now? Oh god, bears! Lots of bears! Okay, they're not attacking, they're not attacking! Horses! Bears! Storms! We've got dogs now! Awesome! What's happening? Okay, they're fishing. We have fish, we have meat, we have people. You can actually directly command people by just clicking places if you really want to. Obviously, you leave them to their own devices, they follow whatever priority there is. But you can order them to do things. Obviously right now I don't need to. But it is an option. Carrying bones, looks like there is some fighting going on. The bears must have killed something. But there you are. The village groweth. What are you, what's wrong with you? Going to get cured meat. Trade has arrived. Didn't even see you here. What have we got? Pulses. Hmm. Nothing we need at all here, actually. You're useless, trader. Useless. And obviously because we have to physically trade in things of like... Whatever we feel the value is, we can't just save for later. 
But there you are. Well, I've got a dog. I'm not sure what it does, but we've got one. So the game can be wishlisted on Steam. Obviously, it is going to be available. Links, of course, will always be in the description. But yes, the game can be wishlisted. It can be... I'm not sure it's pre-purchased yet, but it does have a release of 2019 noted. We have two dogs. Awesome. We have a little village growing up. That's perfect. We have resources. This spiritual thing is for when people die. And I've just built over here. In this clearing. Get the bears to move on. They've had kids. There's four of them now. There's three a second ago. Gotta look at them swimming over the deepest parts. New structure, skull pole, knowledge plus one. There we go. So I could get let's get composites. So now we can build axes and things. Obviously composites are stuff made out of multiple different things. Like flint and wood, as you can see. As opposed to just literally pure resources. Okay, ten dry fish. Knowledge has gone up again. Perfect. Tomundo. I don't know how much depth there is. Obviously, I'm showing you what I can and what I know. This is a first impression. So you're seeing, obviously, the first 20 to 30 minutes of the game, along with me, who's playing, obviously, a bit more. Sometimes I start off, you know, from a bit later on. But I'd like for you to actually see how the city grows. Or settlement, I guess, as it is currently. Okay, now I've got those. We can cut down this tree. There we go. Cut down those trees. Kids. So you can breed new kids as well. So obviously there is an ageing system too. Like we have old people, we have young kids. So you, they can breed and die of age. Okay. Next one, knowledge for 100 sticks. See, that is something to be aware of, but people will eventually die. Oh! So now we can tan. Leather will be tanned automatically. What the hell was that? No one's died yet, Yerrick. What the hell, man? That's going to be prestige. Prestige is how we get new people. The more prestige, the better. Let's take out the bison. Oh my god, it threw Gorgak. Hunt it down. Okay, killed it. Bloody hell. See that? It was not happy being stabbed. Who'd have thought it? So I've killed a cave bear, I've killed a bison, we've killed a horse. We could kill a dog. Ugh. Not too big a fan of that, honestly. There's a mountain cat somewhere. Oh, a megaloceros. Take him out. It's got away. Oh, killed it. More knowledge. So we're getting knowledge by murder, because otherwise, you know... What's the point? I imagine you could also get knowledge for killing like five of them, ten of them, stuff like that. But anyway, right now there aren't too many near the camp. Like obviously we can expand significantly, but there aren't too many right here, right now. Wood pile, rock pile, sort of rock pile. I don't see any paths, dirt paths being formed as people move and destroy the grass, but that's fine. Three new human has joined the settlement. Three more people. Where? Oh, 
Let's grab a couple more of these. Some of these while we're at it. The more clothing, the better, of course. See, people are now everywhere. It starts with a slowly thriving city. I like that. What do I hear? Combat. A dog, a dog, young male. But yeah, look at the size of this world. There's lakes and herds of animals. Look at it. It's huge. Oh, is this the wall? Just here. I think I finally hit the wall. So even if you can't go all the way to there like I thought you could, you can still go. Pretty far. So it's the same as planet base in that respect. In planet base you could go a long way too. Here's a river. Where's my settlement? There it is. I'm definitely interested where this is going to go. Either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. Link's in the description, of course, for the game. Where to get it on Steam, all that. And of course, you can wishlist it. Wishlists are a good sign for any game coming up. I never actually say that, but yeah. Wishlisting a game shows developers that you're interested in their game. Either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. It's been Dawn of Man. Chows for nails, people. The little village will grow and prosper. Rodic Gorgok. Bye-bye.